Hi, I'm Wade Curvita, and behind me is a new full response pumper. This truck features a thousand gallon tank, an aluminum rescue style pumper body, hydraulic ladder rack, a 1250 GPM two stage PTO driven fire pump, and seating for five. On the driver's side of the truck, you see a removable panel to provide access to the pump. Here we have a little trap door which gives access to the manual transfer valve control. Roll up doors, air bottle storage in the wheel wells. And around back, we have our popular swing up drop down access ladder. It's a stainless steel, so it'll never give you corrosion issues. Over here, we have a six inch rear intake. A storage sleeve for a 10 foot hard hose with strainer attached. This is a direct fill straight into the poly water tank. And then up here we have two rear two and a half inch discharges. And then on each corner we have telescoping 1500 watt halogen lights. On this side of the truck we have more air bottle storage in the wheel well. And up here we have our center post hydraulic ladder rack. This ladder rack features an underbody light on the panel so that it illuminates the ground when the ladder is lowered. And I'll point out another little feature. This truck has a little telltale light at each compartment door so that you can easily identify which door is open if you have an open door situation before you uh, drive away with the truck. Over on the curbside panel, we have another intake, a master discharge, a two and a half inch discharge. And down here, we have our new foam jet foam refill system. We developed this in house at Custom Fire, and it uses an air operated diaphragm pump to draft foam and refill the onboard foam cell. This does not require flushing like other foam refill systems, and it does not draw any electricity from the vehicle. So this ladder rack accommodates a 10-foot attic ladder, two pike poles, your extension and roof ladders. This box houses two 6-inch hard hoses. Custom Fire has been building the full response screw cab since the early 80s. And this one features an enclosed top mount, as many of them do. The beauty of the full response cab is that it allows the buyer to bridge the gap between a base level commercial chassis and a cab over custom chassis, such as a Spartan. This crew cab incorporates the pump system, pre-connected hose beds, pump controls, be they side mounted or enclosed top mount. And then inside, we have rear facing seating with integrated air packs. We can do up to four rear facing seats in the full response crew cab, and we can offer forward facing seating as well in lieu of a command desk or EMS cabinet. The full response crew cab creates an ideal operating environment for the engineer. It also serves as a nice rehab facility and a place where you can run command from. This is a little command desk, the lift top, nice surface for documents. And we have an integrated EMS cabinet with interior lighting and shelving and the pump operator panel features many familiar controls and gauges. However, this truck is enhanced by featuring pre-primers for the driver side, passenger side, and rear intakes. It also has a two-stage pump, which is powered by a, a split shaft PTO. So this truck can pump and roll and do so in pressure or volume mode. This means that you can build higher pressures at a lower ruin speed with a very traditional pump. It's a Waterus CM1250 pump. We have a foam pro control head. We have a fire research pressure governor. And then we have the requisite compound gauges, foam and tank level gauges. Over here, we have a hydraulic generator control head. Another notable feature is while we do have the traditional compound gauges, the intake gauge is a 50-50, so it's split where 50% of the gauge is dedicated to the vacuum side. And then up above, we have very typical features, uh, speakers, uh, radios. This is a backup camera, which we installed so that the pump operator can watch the folding tank at the rear of the vehicle. 
And then over here we have power points, which are powered by both the shoreline and the hydraulic generator. The full response cab is extremely user-friendly in the sense of operation, crew comfort, and service and maintenance. You can access the fire pump by both removable side panels, the front removable panel, and the bottom removable panel. Over on this side of the operator panel, we have climate control for heat and air conditioning, and as well as fan speed. And then we have a button for pump panel lights, pump heater, uh, red lights to avoid glare at night, uh, the clear crew cab lights, and an emergency air horn. Another attribute of the full response crew cab is that it incorporates pre-connect hose beds. In this case, we have two hose trays, four inch and three quarter hose. Each tray is constructed of heavy poly material and is fully removable from the vehicle. And each tray carries 200 feet of inch and three quarter collapsible hose and a nozzle. The swivels are located at the top for easy connection after use. And down below, you get a little bit of bonus storage space in this void area. It's approximately 26 inches deep by 22 inches wide and 16 inches high. So you can actually get a fair amount of equipment and, and usable storage on both sides of the truck. And then you probably already noticed that we have the telescoping quartz light on the front of the crew cab as well. All in all, the full response pumper is an extremely capable apparatus. And when it comes in $70,000 less than a typical custom chassis pumper, it's a pretty compelling option to consider.